Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jalissa, aka Eyelash Flare Beauty. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? You're gonna be missing out on all this fire content that I'm working on. I'm definitely gonna be uploading way more. So go ahead and subscribe, turn your bell notifications on so you do not miss out on any upload. So in today's video, I'm actually coming to you guys with a brow tutorial. I get asked all the time on my Instagram as well as my Facebook. How do I do my brows? People tend to like them. I feel like what I do is pretty basic, but I am going to show you in this video how I achieve my perfect brows. Please remember that your eyebrows are not even sisters. Them things be cousins, distant cousins sometimes. They don't be looking nothing alike, which is why I didn't upload the previous video that I filmed because, girl, I have a Walmart bra and a Hermes bra and my Walmart bra, this one right here, was doing the most. Like, she clocked out. She clocked out, honey. She clocked out of a ship early. She said, bye. So I have to redo it over because when I was watching the playback, I was like, uh-uh, them things look too distant. So I need to do it again and get them as close as possible. But do remember that they are cousins or sometimes sisters, but they are not twins, you're not gonna always get them to look exactly the same, so bear that in mind when you do your brows at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, and while I'm doing them, I'm going to show you all the products that I'm using, and I'm also going to list them in the description box if you guys decide to go out and purchase these. I'm using pencil. I mostly use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Brow Pencil, which is the, yeah, the Brow Wiz, which is the one with the really fine tip. But because I have like a struggle in my arch areas, I sometimes go in with a darker pencil, which would be the ColourPop Brow Boss in soft black. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you all in. So to start off, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder. The one I'm using is from Laura Mercy, and I'm basically using this to mattify my brows. That way I absorb any oils that may be on there, and my pencil is actually gonna glide better, as well as stick and give me a longer wear. To fill my brows in, I'm going in with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. Go ahead and brush the brows up. That way we have access to the entire base, which is where we will create our first line. To begin, I like to start by drawing a line from the beginning of my brow all the way over to the arch. And from the arch, I'll draw another line over to the tail. We're gonna do the same thing at the top, except we are gonna start about a pinky finger away from the beginning of the brow. That way we do not end up with boxy brows so go ahead a line from the beginning all the way to the arch and in my arch area especially at the top i do not have a lot of hair so i go in a little bit extra just to make sure that that pencil actually sticks and creates me a arch i'm designing my own arch right now and from the arch again we are going to go ahead and connect the two lines at the tail now you're supposed to have something like this. Now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna basically start filling it in from the tail and work my way over to the beginning. And we are still going to avoid the front of the brows because again, we do not wanna have boxy eyebrows. So it should look something like this and we're gonna go ahead and start blending with the spoolie at the end of the pencil. I like blending mine upward and then at the top I'll blend it across. Cause even though we are blending, we don't wanna lose all that work that we just did. You could see the big difference between the two. 
Okay, so the next step would be cleaning it up. To clean my brow, I'll be using the MAC 242 if it focused. 242 shader brush. Mine is a little tore up, but don't worry, it's gonna work. And for concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shades Tan Sand as well as Deep. Deep I'll use in the beginning and Tan Sand is more for the arch area. When applying to my brush, I like to press the tip of the brush in and flip the brush both ways or on both sides. That way we could kind of pinch, pinch the brush and that way it ends up super flat and it's gonna help with the precision of the arch. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it and press. Now you're supposed to have something like this. You see how flat that is? Okay. So to clean up my brow, I personally like to start from the arch area and when you're cleaning up your brows, a great tip is to avoid going directly on the line that we created at the base. Try going a little bit underneath and that way you will end up with a more crisp brow because you wouldn't have any interference from like the hairs and it doesn't skip and it just looks more smooth and more perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning it up. And you're supposed to have something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it a little low, close to the crease. And this is just for the purpose of the video. Typically, I do my eyebrows, I'll be wearing eyeshadow. So I would pull it all the way on my lid, and then I'll use it as basically a primer to apply my eyeshadow. But for the purpose of the video, we are not doing eyeshadow, so I'll pull it to about my crease area. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade, and I'm applying it the same way I did the light shade. And we're gonna glide from the front and the connect the two. And now you're supposed to have something like thought. Make sure you blend both colors. And then I'm gonna just go in with a blending brush. This is from my line, which is Eyelash Flare Beauty. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap in those concealers because we are not doing eyeshadow that way we don't have like you know it don't look crazy And now we are going to do the same thing at the top except I'm using only the dark shade and I'm going to clean it up making sure it's perfect. I like to start from my arch because I prefer like a really crisp precise brow so I'm going to start from about, about my arch and I went ahead and brushed the hairs down that way I'll have full access to everything that I want to see.
and again I'm going in with my brush and blending that out and typically I'll be wearing foundation so it would not leave this halo but Okay, so once that is all filled in to my liking, I'm gonna go in with some clear brow gel and this one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm basically gonna brush my brows up and over and this is basically gonna lock in my product and it will not come off as easy because this is a gel so it's meant to, you know, hold things together. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my gel. And this is what your brow is supposed to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through me doing the left brow and then I'll be back to wrap it up. So that is it guys, this is how I create my perfect brows at home. I only use the few products and like I said, I will be listing all those products in the description bar. If you guys want, you could go out and get them. Most of them you could get at Ulta, but guys, tell me these eyebrows not looking fleek. Don't be a hater, tell me these eyebrows not looking right. I know they look a little bit more, you know, they standing out from the crowd or whatever, but that's only because I'm not wearing anything other than my brows. On a normal day when I do my brows, I would also do foundation and maybe an eyeshadow or pop a lash on. I would do something. It wouldn't just be brows, but I really wanted to create this tutorial for you guys to show you how simple and easy it is to create bomb ass eyebrows on your own you don't have to be the best makeup artist to be able to do this so i really wanted to get this video out to you guys because you guys ask me all the time on my instagram and my facebook how i do my brows so go ahead if you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button share it like it leave me a comment and leave me any video recommendations that you guys may have and remember share 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 because listen i know you got that one auntie that be wearing that one line as an eyebrow she need to be watching this video because 2021 we're not doing this so go ahead and share so we can all be fly fleeky eyebrows be on point tell a friend to tell a friend okay so if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments and talk to me don't be leaving me on here talking to myself talk to me in the comments let me know if you have questions are you feeling it today is sunday when i'm uploading the video so hopefully you guys have a awesome sunday and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys